by Anthony Lamb. Let's get straight to it. Anthony Lamb has been named in a civil lawsuit filed against the University of Vermont by three former students. A fellow student athlete claims Lamb sexually assaulted her in 2019 at an off-campus parties. Our party, excuse me. Damn, that nigga's just a rotational player on the Warriors getting a case pinned on him. That's tough. He might be right. It might be true. You never know. I don't know how that nigga's in the league. You never know. They could just be lying on my mans. I'm not, you know, I'm not good. My, my mans. <laughs> nigga's on the Warriors. He's trash. Oh, I can't say he's trash, but he, he's he's a role player, nigga. He's not nothing, like, serious. He actually be getting burned, though. I ain't gonna lie over these first-round draft picks and shit that they have. It's just kind of crazy. But it's like, you know, he did live in Vermont. Like, what are you gonna do in Vermont? Like, he probably got weird. He didn't see many black women. He, you know, he probably, like, is this something he might regret? And I'm not gonna say he, you know, I'm just like, I'm just hypothetically thinking, you know what I mean? I hope not. I hope everybody's okay in the situation, you know, and maybe she's lying. But I'm never gonna jump to conclusions on certain things when niggas get money, you know, you know how that go, man. People like to lie on people like me, you know, sexy athletes and shit like that, but. We'll see how this case goes on. I wonder if he's still going to play for the Warriors. I didn't hear anything about them, like, pausing or anything. You know what I saw who beat the case? That Matt Ariza, dude. That nigga's a godly punter. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how he beat that case. I thought it was going to be wraps for him. I thought he was going to jail. <laughs> I thought it was over. But, yeah, that nigga's a godly punter. He should go to, like, the Ravens so they can have, like, a godly special teams with him and Justin Tucker or something. Another godly punter is, like, that dude on the Buccaneers. Like, I don't know how you kick the ball like that. That shit is crazy. But another news, Charles Barkley says that the Bulls need to blow it up. You're not good enough, and it's time to start the rebuild. I can't be, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is two days in a row. I agree with Chuck, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think my hairline is going to start receding or something. I did see, like, you know, it is getting a little indented. But Chuck is actually right because the Bulls will never go anywhere. They're not going to do anything. I've heard, like, murmurs of them, like, thinking about trading uh, DeRozan and shit like that. But... I think they should because the Bulls are really just going to go nowhere. They thought they were going to be good last year. I remember around this time, everybody was still hyping up the Bulls, saying they're going to win the championship. The Mavs are never that good. It's just facts. It's just illusion, you know? I know people want to see other teams do good. It's, they're just not good enough. Like, <laughs> Lonzo's still hurt, too. It's just like, damn, free Lonzo, man. Why does it, why does it have to be the knees? Get on your knees. But other than that, I'm going to catch you next one.